So the first thing I want you to think back to is the fall. And in September, we came up with these amazing new stoves that are broiler proof and can go in the dishwasher and can be preheated. If you've got a stone from the fall selling season, go ahead and drop in the comments below which stone you love. You love the pizza stone, the bar pan, the little toaster oven, which is the small bar pan. Which of those new stones do you love? Well, the fact is that everybody loved them so much that by October, the stones were selling out and we were unable to even get them in the hands of our customers. And then we were all deflated. And it was all part of the COVID problem, you know, the, the suffering that we did last year. Stoneware was one of our fallouts. And so then if you remember in the fall, it was off and on, you could get a few, you could get bar pans, and then came the big hit in December when the company just pulled the plug on all stones. And we have had not stoneware in sight since the middle of December. And here we are, February 23rd, on the night before Christmas. No, it's really the night before when stoneware is coming back and we've got four stones that the company has had the manufacturer create huge amounts. So this is how they were able to bring back the four, at least for right now. And what we chose were the stoneware loaf pan, the large bar pan, the large round stone, and the toaster oven pan, which is also the small bar pan. And those are from our classic collection, and those are the, the best selling stones. So what we had our manufacturer do starting in December when we said, let's stop the presses, we can't sell these anymore because we just can't get enough. They had the manufacturer focus on just those four and start producing massive amounts of just those. Instead of think of all the glazed stone where we've got and the chip and dip set and the pie pan and all of that, we bypassed producing any of those to stock all these till we had what we feel was an adequate amount. So here we are tomorrow, those products will be in stock for your customers. So I want to give you some very quick tips now. And then your director team and I, all of the directors are going to try to join forces and bring ideas to you tomorrow and throughout this week of what you can do to maximize these stoneware sales. So there's pent up demand. Let me just tell you that. People have been wanting, I know you've heard in your parties, oh geez, I wish that I could get a stone. And we had to tell them, I'm so sorry they're out of stock. So we can now tell everybody, shout it from the rooftops that the stones are back. If you don't tell people about this, friends, though, what's going to happen is I'm going to tell people, or the consultant in the next town over is going to put it on Facebook and they're going to get the sale. So we all have to let our customers know you want to be the one to sell that stone, right? You don't want me to sell it to your customer. You want to sell it. So we're going to be taking the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. We've got five days, and we're going to see how many stones we can sell in the month of February because we want to sell them now. Now, I don't believe the stones are going to sell out. I, I think the company is, is adequately prepared for this, but I'm not taking any chances. And I'm going to get my customers' orders in as soon as I can. And I think you should do the same thing. So I want to share a couple of very quick ideas. I don't want you to keep you long, but I'm going to be sharing some graphics. The one graphic we're going to share is around the small bar pan. Did you know that that small bar pan fits perfectly in the air fryer? I mean, perfectly. It was like glove fit perfect. And what it does, friends, is if you put a, a stoneware bar pan in the top of the bottom shelf, your cleanup of your air fryer is so easy because guess what? Those stones go in the oven. So basically you turn your air fryer into a little oven with pans that fit perfectly. So I want you to know that you can run a report that tells you who bought air fryers from you. It'll, you can put a, a daytime stamp on it and you can run a report and it'll say, these are the people that bought an air fryer. I'm going to suggest that you once you get the picture, we're going to try to post a picture of those stones in the air fryer. I want you to message your customers who bought an air fryer. Oh my gosh, good news. We have an insert for your air fryer that will turn it into a little oven. Cleanup's going to be a breeze. You can bake cookies on it. You can make your salmon on it. You can put your... Second. So the small bar pan goes right together with the air fryer. You've sold air fryers. Let's get the word out that that is back. Number two. We're going to have a graphic that's going to show the four stones that are coming back. You guys have parties going this week. 
the template that I gave you for February doesn't even mention stonework except one little post that said, hey, if you host a party, you can get these stones. Guess what? Your customers in parties right now can buy stones tomorrow morning. So I'm going to encourage you to get a post and you're going to have to manually post it in your parties that are going right now. Oh my gosh, big announcement. These four stones are back. Which of these four stones would you most love to have in your kitchen? Okay, so your guests are going to start to post. Oh my God, that large round stone looks great. Ooh, that bar pan looks great. What are you going to do? You're going to message them all and say, oh my gosh, thanks for voting for the bar pan. The most amazing news. You can buy it today in June's party. But you know what? I'd love to have you get it for free. What would you think about hosting your own fast and fun Facebook party to get that stone? with your host rewards. I'd love to work with you. What would you think? So I would love to have her buy it, but I'd also have to love people look to get that. Now look at your situation. If you want bookings for March, you want bookings to start this week, that air fry, that, I'm sorry, that stone, I believe sells for $25. If it's within your budget, I would offer that for free if they host the party with you. Hey, if you have a party, I will give you, make sure you get the May bar pan for free. If you're you're a fire fryer. Would you have that party? Okay. You can use it as a booking tool. The other thing I think you should be doing in your parties is finding some recipes, picture recipes for stones. And the directors have said they will help me start flooding the dream team with pictures of stoneware recipes. And the thing is, guys, we haven't been focusing on stones for so long because we haven't had them in stock. And now we're going to refocus our energy on stones because I think that there is going to be a flood of demand for them. But you have to create the desire for them. You've got to let people know that they're back. Another thing you could be doing is sending out a consultant connection email to all of your customers and say, oh, my gosh, big news. Stoneware is back. Who's been waiting to get stones? No, that's Else You've been waiting for stones. Today is your day. Order stones today. Now, how are you going to collect orders? If you don't have an open party in your name right now, friends, create it tonight. Get in your consultant's corner, create it in your name with you as the host. Now you've got an ordering link to all these spray orders. So my first priority is to use the stoneware to get a booking. That's my first. If you listen to my leveraging uh, training a couple of weeks ago, I said, don't just take the quick sale. Try to leverage it into a party. Oh, you want a stone? How about we get it for you for free? Oh, how can I get it for free? By hosting a fast and fun party on Facebook. Um, another thing that you could do, how many of you posted a party and the host didn't quite get to 200? Ooh, yes, ooh. We could call those hosts up and say, oh my gosh, I kind of got your stranded party. You never quite got to 200. What would you think about reopening your party? We've got a brand new catalog coming out and stoneware is back. Would you like to see if we could get your party to at least 200 and you could get a stone at a discount for free. So we could be working those trees that never qualified. So what about hosts that you had last fall that were disappointed that they couldn't get stones because they were out of stock. They wanted a piece of stone and they couldn't get it. What about if you go back and you send them a quick message, create a message, hey, October host, I just wanted to let you know some exciting news. Back in October, unfortunately, we did not have stones available in our stock to sell, but if we have four stones in stock and ready for you just in time for spring. You have a 10% discount, and I wanted to find out, are there any of these four stones that you would like to add to your kitchen? Or, hey, you, hey, October host, I wanted to let you know that these stones that weren't available back in October are available today, and I would love to offer you the chance to get them for free. If we could have a repeat performance uh, party, we've got a brand new catalog coming out. It's going to be all new items, all new uh, specials, and I'd love to party with you again in March. What would you think about scheduling another new season party? And you could get your stones for free. If it's in your budget, give them the bar pan for free. Give them something, a little, little bar pan. Give them something. If you're really looking for bookings the first week of March, that's what I would do. 
just remember that um, parties that are going to be starting, let's say, looking at my calendar, let's say you've got parties starting the weekend of March 5th. Like this weekend is February 26th. Your next round of parties start March 5th. Guys, you could be sending a message to all of your March 5th hosts and saying, oh my gosh, exciting news. Um, the company is releasing four stones back in stock starting tomorrow. So what would you think if I sent you your party link? If you know of anybody who was wanting stones, they could get their order in now. That would just be beating the rush. They could get their stone or orders in. The last thing I wanted to talk to you about is a party today that you've got running and people have already placed their orders. Like I've got eight per six parties running and a lot of people place the orders in their early bird order. And they might see this stoneware and go, oh darn, I would have added stoneware to my order if I'd known. Oh man, I'm mad, I want to add to my order and their order is already closed. It's not possible to add to the order, right? So the biggest thing is always that shipping, 795 shipping. You know, they go, well, I already paid shipping once, do I have to pay again? And the answer typically is yes. So we were talking tonight that many customers will just go ahead and place a second order. And one of our directors gave the example of QVC. Anybody a QVC shopper? I used to be kind of a dick. And I'll tell you when I used to shop at QVC in the middle of the night. I would, I, you know, would be sleeping on the couch. I'd wake up, turn on the TV, see something on QVC, and order it at 2 in the morning. Barely even remember the morning. Wonderful. Not a good thing. Don't watch it anymore. But anyway, QVC shoppers, every day they're seeing something. Oh, I got to order that pair of pants. And they're paying shipping every single time they order. And guess what? If you return something to QVC, you pay shipping back. You pay shipping twice. And nobody got to that. So first of all, I want you to assume that people will be okay with placing another order. They're going to be excited to get the stones. They're going to be okay. If you get into a discussion with somebody, they message you and say, hey, I've already ordered. Can you waive the shipping? Blah, blah, blah. I would encourage you not to waive the shipping. Shipping is a flat charge of $7.95 and you don't earn any commission on it. And in addition, there's tax on it. So your total cost for shipping is $8.42. Okay? That's a, what I call a hard cost. There's no commission built into it. There's no deduction. If you really wanted to do a favor, in order to get that stone order or something, I would suggest you maybe offer them a free rub. Rubs cost six dollars, but they're a commissionable sale, so you're going to get at least twenty percent commission. It brings it down to four dollars and eighty cents. So you could add that to their order. You can increase your commissionable sales. You get some commission. Or, I, I bet you know what I'm going to say next. I'd love to have you place that second order, and I'd love to pay your shipping. If you would consider hosting your own fast and fun Facebook party in March and helping our host with getting one of the bookings. Always, always, you try to take your situation and turn it into a win for you. So you could do that. Um, the other thing that uh, you could do would be to send out that consultant connection email. You could target people who bought stones before. You could target your entire target just posts, you know, we can send emails out every day of the week. Maybe think about a different email each day. Like tomorrow you could focus on the bar pin and tell them, oh my gosh, our stones are back. This is our bar pin and you can use it for this and this and this. Here's a link to place an order or let me know if I can get it for you free. Message me for details on how to get it free. Thursday, you could focus on the um, princess stone, whatever. How about going live on Facebook and showing you have a stone? If you bought a kit, you probably, if you got the larger, you got a bar pen. How about if you go live and show people what you can do with it? So I just want to get your thoughts around, it's not just a matter of just selling the stones, you know, where they're available. How can you market it? How can you reach your customers so that you're the one who gets their book or you're the one who gets their sale? This is going to be hot. You know, think about the air fryers in, in January. The minute consultants wrap their head about around a good idea, we're like a dog on a bone. We just, you know, go crazy. And I think consultants are going to go crazy with this stoneware special, not special, return. And I want you to be in the know, and I want you to be the recipient of all the rewards. If you need sales this month, the last 
last thing I want you to do is go look to see how much in sales you have here in Kansas City. Because here's my light. You know, I love this light. So here's that light you're going to burn. Let's turn it the right way. So cute. How much do you have to sell to get it? $1,000. I want you to go look and see how close are you to earning this light. Do you have 700 in sales? You can't quit now. You gotta go sell some stones. Every time you go down, you're gonna get the streets of streets of light. So focus, focus, focus on stones. I think you'll be really pleased at the results you get in the next five days. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna be posting some ideas on Facebook. For those of you who listen to me ramble this whole time, you've got the patience of Joe. I love you a lot, and I'll see you next time real soon. So take care of you. Happy 